Welcome back guys. So today we have an interesting one for you, especially if you're into unreleased Super Nintendo games that have been recently discovered and dumped for everybody to enjoy for what may be the first time, right? I love this kind of stuff and I think a lot of you guys do as well. So on GamingAlexandria.com, they have the full history to this game, Cooley Skunk, never been released and now we get to play it. So we're gonna check this game out in a moment here. Uh, the full history, the article here, I'm not gonna read through everything. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but a few things of note, Cooley Skunk, it was later released in the U.S. for the PlayStation 1 as Punky Skunk. So this was a game that had shifted around, changed focus on what it was going to be um, and, you know, what console it was going to be made for. And then it eventually was going to be Cooley Skunk for the Super Nintendo, and then it shifted to the PlayStation. They state the PlayStation had been released in Japan, but the Super Nintendo was still going strong in the U.S. So this project, which started out as something completely different, shifted focus to the North American market and became Cooley Skunk or Punky Skunk as the U.S. market was going to call it. Um, so I think this stuff is kind of cool. You have a little cosplay of uh, Punky Skunk, Cooley Skunk here back in 95. Kind of crazy, right? I thought this quote was kind of ridiculous, but funny. Uh, the design of the main character, Cooley, and his fart attack were both at the order of visit, which is the publisher. They, vi they told us this incorporated the opinions of North American buyers. So I guess North Americans... We wanted farts and we wanted skunks. I guess that's what they're trying to get at there. <laughs> Pretty crazy stuff. So the game was later released on the PlayStation. Kind of uh, the same game, but, you know, had, had uh, new stuff going for it. And now we get to play it on the Super Nintendo or Super Famicom. So 24 years later, <laughs> they found a BSX 8M cartridge for the Saddler View uh, labeled as Cooley Skunk in a display case at the retro game store Super Potato located in Akihabara for nearly 500 US dollars. And they state there was little public knowledge that the game had ever been broadcast over the, the Saddle of You service. So it was like a demo, right? They even have a little image here of the BSX cartridge that was for sale with this game on it. Crazy amount of money, but they did get, you know, the game preservation community came together, got the money together uh, and, you know, they got the game and dumped it for everybody. So that is really cool stuff. They state here that um, with this dumped version, you can only play through the game's first three worlds before being thrown back to the title screen. But after kind of taking a look at the uh, the coding and hacking it, they found out that the whole game was actually there, including the final boss and end credits. So Master Fox, the ROM hacker, he tweaked it around this new dumped ROM and made it so you could play the whole thing all the way through. It's a full, complete game. They do have the link for that version here and the uh, raw dumped version as well if you want to take a look at that. Um, so pretty cool stuff, man. Uh, I just want to go ahead and check this out, see if it's uh, you know, a game worth maybe playing through at some point. But here we go. I do have this loaded up on my SD2 SNES Pro. I am playing it on my Super NT. So I do have it dumped down here. Special ROMs. Cooley Skunk. With this being a BSX game, uh, it is going to load up through the saddle of you, you know, stuff. So it kind of doesn't start right away. So there you go, BSX, the town whose name was stolen. <laughs> but pretty interesting stuff. I always find it cool when you load up a BSX game, um, but here we go. So this is a little different. We're not in the game yet. We're just in this BSX saddle of you thing. I, I always like how this little overworld, this is like the user interface for the, the saddle of you. Um, I always like how this kind of looks like an earthbound type of game, right? But it's really not a game, it's just, the user interface. So we go back into this house, the little dude, like, yeah, my, my, my name is CAC. That's okay. You load stored data. So if you're loading this up through an emulator or through the SD2 SNES, that's just the way it works. Uh, this is Cooley Skunk. So let's load that up. And once you get back in there, it just, you know, loads up, takes just a second. The, the data being transmitted should be used for its intended purpose. Now loading program. I think the intended purpose is to play the game, right? That's what we're going to do. So let's check this out. I know this game is geared more towards uh, a younger crowd, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad game because um, there's so many games back in the uh, NES Super Nintendo days that were geared toward a younger crowd, but they're still solid ass games to today. So here we go. The game's in Japanese, but there's not like, you know, you don't have to know Japanese to enjoy it. I know this little uh, starting screen. This stupid little mouse cat thing having a conversation with this wolf man. And I have no clue what he's saying without translating it. I'm sure he's like, hey man, this stupid ass skunk's out there. We gotta, gotta get his ass, right? So that's that's what I'm taking from it. I have no idea. 
save the princess skunk save i i, I don't know doesn't matter we're just gonna jump into this <laughs> so here we go oh crap let me figure out the buttons oh so we do have the uh the little the little mouse cat dudes all pissed off looking man coming at us wobbling around uh, there we go this dude's like a little baby bouncer thing <laughs> So the graphics in this game is pretty, pretty damn vibrant. Um, I do dig this, this style. It looks pretty good. Uh, it is a later Super Nintendo game. Uh, so definitely, you know, it's not going to be a, shouldn't be too bad looking, but hey, I, I think sometimes they would still release games later on. They would look like shit, but this doesn't look too bad. That reverse scrolling though, not, not crazy. It's not like uh, Jim Powers, which we just talked about the other day with the, uh, the new version coming out. But it actually, this, this scrolling um, with the background and the, the foreground, it's actually not that bad. Um, I actually kind of dig the, the effect you get there. It doesn't, doesn't look horrible. Um, oh, crap. Okay, we got to pay attention to these stupid flowers in the ground. <laughs> Damn. What is that? Did I just become a super skunk? Uh, oh, I got like a... How do I use that? What did I just do? Oh, I can shift to that. Okay, I don't I don't know what that does. Oh, if we hold the jump button, we could bounce. Okay. Okay, can we cool. That works for me. Kind of a little little ducktails action almost. Uh, so far I mean this doesn't doesn't feel too challenging. I've heard later on it gets a it gets a little more crazy. Um but so far, not, not too bad. All right, let's... I don't want to get hit by that guy. Okay. Uh, damn, fool. All right, so th that's the end of the stage. Stage... Okay, I get... Like, who is that? Is that his girlfriend? Little, little uh, bunny chick? Oh yeah, I think he's getting laid. So I am playing the um. Okay, we got the pogo stick again. I am playing the uh the full completed version, uh, which, I mean, that's the only way. Like, I mean, sure, playing it the way it was uh, dumped would be kind of interesting. But I mean, if it just needed a minor tweak to make it a full playable game, why the hell not just play it this way, right? We gotta be careful right here. Oh, this guy's like, I can't get up there. All right, let me tr let me try this again. I'm I'm failing like super bad. Oh my god! All right, I'm just gonna go past him this time. Forget that noise. I think this is my last life too. So I'm screwed. Oh shit, where am I? Oh, oh my god, I see a tree and I'm, I'm not like immediately like, oh yeah, a tree, like some leaves. Let me, let me hop around on that, right? <laughs> okay, all right. I don't know what those apples do. Do those, do those heal us up? Oh, there's a... They're one up. Oh my god, I can't get it. Yes, I got it. Oh, stupid ninja mice. Alright. You know, this stage, it, it, it boosted up the, the challenge a little bit. A little bit. I'm, I'm, in, I'm intrigued. Crap, I should have stayed up there. There we go. Goal! Is this bunny, like his little girlfriend, waiting for him at the end of every stage? I guess. Well, shit. Kind of interesting. Let's see what the next stage looks like real quick, and then uh, end it. And you guys go jump on this if you wanna, if you wanna play it. If you have some way to to load it up. A little ice stage. What did I just? What did I? Oh, I was like, what did I get? I didn't even see that. Got like a snowboard. Oh my god, this is like controlling a little... 
Okay, how do I... Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna try that one more time. Oh, there's the, ski, the, the snowboard. I didn't notice it at first. Oh, you have to build up momentum? And then you can kill these little mice coin looking things. But there you go. I think it's game over time. Sad he's not getting any this time. But there you go. Cooley Skunk. If you want to check it out, links are in the description. I think it's an interesting game. I may revisit it. Um, but there you go. Always cool to see these things getting dumped and released for people to play. Not going to be for everybody, but still interesting to see it. Game preservation is important to a lot of people. So boom, there you go. Really do appreciate you guys. And I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye. Double boom.